This is the Tracker Pixel. It's a tracking device using Bluetooth that can attach to your phone, wallet, keys, or other items. That's today's review, so let's check it out. Tracker is a Bluetooth tracking device you can attach to objects like a keychain, wallet, or purse, help you find them. There's three ways of tracking. There's Bluetooth, there's a two-way signal, and there's crowd locate. I've been using the Tracker Pixel for a couple weeks now, but this is the first chance I've had to actually do my review for it. My wife, my cousin, and I, we headed up to Chicago yesterday on a kind of a road trip. And while I was there, I wanted to test out some of the features of the Tracker Pixel. It just so happened we found ourselves at the Taste of Chicago, which is a great place to try it out because I really wanted to try the Crowd GPS feature. So here's some of the things that happened while we're in Chicago. So here we are in Chicago, and I've got my Tracker Pixel with me. To use Tracker, there's two ways of tracking your devices. You can use Bluetooth on your phone using this app. There's another uh, way of tracking your device called Crowd Locate, in which other Bluetooth users that have the Tracker app running will also locate your device. So I'm gonna try both of those out and see how it goes. There's one other way you can use Tracker Pixel. You can actually find your phone if you press this button. It'll send a tone to your phone so that you can locate it. So when you're using the Tracker Pixel, what you do is if it's attached to one of your items you want to find, you load the app, and then it'll tell you how, about how far you're away from it. Uh, when I did the setup on this, it said that I have about an 86 foot range. And as you see the app here, it'll tell you right now I have full bars of closeness to it. And as I move farther away, it will tell me if I'm closer or farther away to it. So let's see how that works. So we're in Millennium Park here in Chicago, and my cousin just walked just a short distance away over there and it's already struggling to try to find it. See that? But I'm gonna walk closer to him and see if it starts picking up a signal. All right, so right now I'm walking away from him, and as you can see, it says getting further. Getting farther, getting farther. And he's over there. Now I'm gonna walk closer to him. This is getting closer. And as you can see, I'm standing this close to him, and it's still now it says it's getting closer. There it is. But I'm, I'm literally 10 feet away from it. So in your house setting, that would probably be useful, I guess, if you could, you're could. you looking for something in the same room. The nice feature is that you can press this button and it'll send off a tone, which I do here. That actually is probably more useful than actually uh, trying to use this further and closer away. And if he presses it, my phone will go off, so you can track it both directions. Now what I'm going to do is test out the crowd locate feature. I have my cousin sitting a couple hundred feet away. I'm going to stand over here and see if anybody else walks by using the app. Because this is a very crowded area with Millennium Park during the Taste of Chicago. There should definitely be someone running the tracker app in this area, so we'll see if someone walks by and picks up a signal. So this is the setting you want. It says notification settings. When you put that on, you will get a notification if anybody with the tracker app walks by and picks up a signal. Here's the thing though, the tracker app range, I mean, the tracker only has about an 80 to 100 foot range, so someone has to walk within 80 feet of my tracker before it will pick up a signal. And even though there are thousands of people here at Millennium Park in Chicago, the chances of someone walking within that range of my tracker is pretty slim. But we'll wait for a little bit and see if it happens. When I was at a taste of Chicago, I had my cousin go several hundred feet away with the tracker and I wanted to see if the crowd locate would help me find him. Because I figured with the crowd that large, someone else should be a tracker user who has the app running in the background. And to my surprise, someone did. The only problem is that my camera had overheated by that time, so all I have is the audio. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try putting the tracker over there. That's, that's probably the very extent of the range that it has. And I'm going to walk back over here and see how well it tracks it. Then I'm going to put it inside my wallet and see if the range is different. I'll buy a tracker. Okay, it's telling me that there's a thousand people nearby for crowd locate. Okay, my tracker is over there. Right now, I'm seeing nothing. 
Sam walking around. Say I don't know where it's at. It says, say I walk this way. Getting farther. Getting closer. Getting farther. Okay, yes, I am farther. That's a pretty good range though. That's I would say that's more than 86 feet. What happens if I push the button from over here? See, I can hear it. I think that would be easier than trying to find this closer and farther away thing. I can hear it even over that noise back in the background. Again, I think the two-way communication is actually more effective than trying to have this kind of Marco Polo thing that where you go getting farther and closer away. And sometimes it wasn't even accurate. I was walking away from it and said I was getting closer. I'm gonna try putting it inside a wallet so it's not completely out in the open and see if the range is different. Okay, the tracker is in this wallet. I'm gonna put it back over there. Go to the same area I was at before. I was about right here. This is where I was walking around before. And in the wallet, it still sees it, that's good. It's way over there and it's still, this hasn't changed, I think it just, I don't know. Getting farther, okay, I'm getting farther. I hope if I hit the button again, because I'm quite a ways away. Kinda hear it, even still, even in my wallet. See, this says I'm getting farther away. When you first set up the tracker pixel on your app, it tells you how far the range is of the Bluetooth. And mine said it was about 86 feet. That's about on par with the other trackers I've seen in the past. Usually it's up to about 100 feet. Keep in mind that that 86 feet can be affected by being inside a purse, inside a pocket, inside a wallet, or behind walls. There are two main trackers out there. There's tracker and tile. The one advantage the tracker has over tile is that you can replace the batteries while in tile, you can't replace the batteries. Overall, I think the tracker is good for finding stuff around the house using the two-way communication. I don't think the Bluetooth is as effective, and the crowd locate is going to be hit or miss. You're gonna be lucky if you're in a big enough crowd to have someone else who happens to be running the app walk by your item. So let's recap what I found here in Chicago with the tracker device. When I used just the Bluetooth on the phone, the range was pretty minimal. I don't even know if it was the 86 feet that the app said it would be. But when I used it in a crowd area, like this area of Chicago, someone walked by and got a hit and I was able to locate my item. So I'm not sure that it's gonna be a practical solution in a lot of cases, but in somewhere like this where it's really packed full of people, you have a good chance of finding your item. I like the fact that the tracker is two-way, that you can push a button on here to ring your phone, you can push a button on your phone to ring your tracker. Some reviewers have said that it wasn't very loud, but I find it to be pretty loud. One thing I did find though is that when you hold it in your hand or in your pocket or your purse, the range of Bluetooth is significantly less than when it's out in the open that may or may not affect if you find your item. It's not a comprehensive solution, but it is a pretty cool device to have. The Tracker Pixel I picked up for about $24 at a Best Buy. The pa Tracker Bravo is about 30. There isn't much difference in function. I guess it's just in the materials it's made from. If you've used one of the Tracker devices, tell me what you think in the comments below, and please subscribe for more As Seen on TV product reviews and me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.